It definitely wasn't until later in life. I think people always kind of like had murmurs about it with like, oh, you know, maybe go for the Olympics for field hockey. And I just like, no, it's not possible. Tried out rugby and then it was kind of where it started to become a little bit more possible. And, but still my coach was like, oh, you know, you can play for the USA team. I was like, okay, yeah, it's maybe something. But I think it wasn't until like, I would say senior of college where I was like, this is kind of something I could do. And I was doing nursing. So I had to make that decision. Like, do I go into nursing a stable job, stable income, or do I, try this 1% of people to go and be an Olympian and I chose the Olympian and I'm very happy I did. Well, I think when I first found out that the Olympics were a thing was when I was about six years old, when I won my first medal. My parents kind of talked about the Olympics and then it wasn't until 2008 when I watched the Olympics for the first time, I was like, that's where I wanna be. I don't know the exact year, but it had to be 2004. I remember being in my grandma's living room and like watching the Olympics happen on TV and playing basketball enough to be like, I wanna be there. I was a stay-at-home dad, couldn't get a job. And I saw a guy on TV shooting his bow. And that's when I'm like, hey, I'm gonna try this out, right? But it really wasn't until about a couple months later when I went to my first tournament, so it had been January, uh, like 2011, I believe that I was educated about what the Paralympics were. And then I was like, what is that? And he's like, we gotta go represent America. I'm like, what? Competing at the Paralympics became a real goal probably 2016 when I dropped out of college to go become a professional swimmer and compete at the Paralympics. Uh, when did it become a real like attainable reality? Okay, there's a real solid chance in reality uh, that we're gonna achieve this. Really not until after COVID. Had COVID uh, not happened and the game still happened, Tokyo 2020, good chance I would not have made the team. So Tokyo 2021, was uh, that was my lottery ticket and we cashed it. Competing at the Olympics became a real goal for me when I was in the hospital after my accident. And then we looked up the dates for Tokyo and I made that decision right there and then that I was gonna be there. Since I was little, it was always a big goal. It wasn't really tangible until the second I qualified, to be really honest. I went into a senior world championships, the pre-Olympic world championships, as a 17 year old who had never competed in the senior level before. It wasn't a feasible thing to go to the Olympics until really I crossed that finish line and I look around and saw that I won the race. I was 11 years old. I was watching the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games and I was unbelievably inspired to see athletes that looked like me competing on the world stage. And it was this out of body epiphany, universe telling me this is your calling type experience where I told my family, I told my friends that I was gonna make the Tokyo Paralympic team in four years. I was 11 saying this, I would be 15 in Tokyo. Honestly, I feel like once I made Team USA, like it was realistic, but once we beat China in 2016, right before the 2016 games, you taste what victory feels like and you taste what it feels like to actually have your goal come to fruition. It's always been the goal, like since, for me personally, since I was young and I didn't even think I knew what sport. And then once I kind of started realizing I was good at field hockey, I was like, okay, we could actually kind of make this real. And then obviously once we qualified, I was like, oh, here we go. I always said that I wanted to go to the Olympics and it didn't, it, it always seemed like the right path, but I didn't understand how real it could become until probably on when I was like 18, 19, we had an athlete qualify in 2020 for the 2021 Olympics. And when that happened, it was like someone that was very close to me. I was like, oh, I can, I can do the same thing. Like, this can actually happen. Competing in the Paralympics became a real goal for me in 2008 because that's when I learned about the Paralympics. And honestly, I had no idea what the Paralympics was for me. I had to look it up and Google it. And I love the idea of representing something so much more than yourself and representing a country. And it's not just you out there, you have USA and you're united with that. And I set out to make those games and I did not. I failed short to make those games. That's the moment that I didn't really realize until I didn't make that team how bad I wanted it. When I was 18 and, the, and it got announced. Um, when it got announced at the games, it was a whole different experience for me because it finally felt like I could, I could compete for something bigger than myself. I started Synchro when I was five. And when I was seven, I watched the next Olympics and I was still on the novice level. I hadn't really competed yet. I was just, you know, really learning how to do synchro still. Um, but I saw the Olympics and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be on TV. I'm gonna be at the Olympics. I think getting to go to the Para Pan Am Games in 2015 really showed me that 
Rio and the Paralympic Games was a possibility, but I don't think it truly hit me that it was a goal until that year when I got named to the team that I, that I really wanted to go to the Paralympic Games. I've always had Olympic dreams ever since I was little. Growing up in Alaska, I had so much community sport from a young age, so people would always refer to me as like, oh, Lydia's our little Olympian ever since I was like 10 years old. So I just really embodied that and took it with me through the Olympics. I actually helped the light my first year of playing wheelchair basketball. Uh, my coach basically said that I could, he can see me playing at the highest level. I and mean, it kind of just sparked my, my interest even more. And I just worked towards that goal with him um, at the early stages. It was a natural progression. You go to a local meet, qualify for a national meet, and then you go to international competitions. And then from there, I was qualifying for competitions that were also Olympic qualifiers for Tokyo. So once I got into that process, I started to realize this is like a real thing, a real goal that I could actually achieve. When I realized I'm pretty good at badminton when I was tw oh, 24, um, people are keep telling me that, oh, you should uh, try for Olympics and you should try to competing that because I'm um, start to winning some tournaments when I was like pretty young age compared to right now. So that time I'm choosing to like trying to compete Olympic games. I started competing, uh, headed towards the Paralympics um, from a really young age. So I started on this team when I was 12. Um, and I mean, even from then, it was the goal and the hope would be that I would make the London team. But I, I never really knew if it was a possibility, but my coach really believed in me. So then leading into the 2012 games, I made the team. And so that was the start of this journey um, at 16.